There's a place in Mexico's Gulf of California that is like no other. Its name is Raza. This gem of an island is so small that it can barely be found on a map. It is nevertheless the crucial hub of survival for two species of seabirds that rely on it almost exclusively for their timeless rituals of reproduction. Its scant 142 acres lie surrounded by waters that teem with more life than nearly any other sea on Earth. And so, at breeding time, this flat and barren rock comes to life. Hundreds of thousands of birds coexist on this tiny island for three months every summer. In such a confined space, opportunities to steal from one another cannot be overlooked. And though it poses difficulties, these tight and seemingly chaotic colonies will protect them against predators. Leaving the colony will almost certainly prove fatal. A predator is more easily confused when a large colony suddenly takes flight. This is one of the advantages of crowding together. In order for a colony to function, there is a strict social regimen. A chick faces life and death consequences, leaving its nest and trespassing into its neighbor's territory. Survival for these chicks is enough cause for celebration. And what could be more exciting than being able to fly for the first time? For more than 30 years, Dr. Enriqueta Velarde has been studying the seabirds on this amazing island. Her work has had a huge impact in conserving not just raza, but many fragile habitats within the Gulf of California. Local people are now aware of the importance of these birds as part of the ecosystem. Students who have participated in projects that I have coordinated are now involved in conservation. It's a very successful story.